What up boys and girls, <laughs> welcome to the vlog. Um, sorry that the channel's been so quiet lately. Uh, as you know, it was my first week of my internship and obviously I can't film while I'm at work, so um, it's been kind of quiet. Um, and my uh, schedule really doesn't change. I go to work, I come back, and basically go to bed because I get back at like 7.30ish. So I can't really make uh, any new content. So today is Friday. It is five after five. We are heading to dinner. Um, we spend all morning in a Kappa sponsored class um, that we have to take. It's all about business, business in Shanghai and it's just, I guess, internships in general. Uh, we had a guest speaker this morning, a professor at the college, I think. Um, she taught us all about the history of Shanghai and its global influence and why it's a global city, which was pretty interesting. Um, it's not something we learn about in the States, not in high school or anything. We don't really learn about Chinese history that much, so it was kind of nice to learn a little bit more about the culture, especially since we're spending so much time here. Um, but I'm going to film the rest of the night and um, we're going to a hot pot for dinner, so that'll be pretty cool. I've yet to go, but everyone's telling me it's super good, so we're gonna eat some weird stuff. We're gonna eat some weird stuff, that's for sure. Um, so I will catch up with you guys when I get there. So we just got to the hot pot place. Um, it looks very interesting so far. It looks pretty cool. We're going into the back apparently. We got the VIP experience going on here. So um, I don't know. We'll see how it is. I'll let you guys know when the food comes out. I'll try to get you, show you the menu as well. guys so we just finished at the um, hot pot restaurant it was very good it was delicious it came out to 301 yuan for five of us so it literally cost like less than 10 us dollars we got a bunch of food we had um, beef we had um, pork broth vegetable broth Chinese cabbage, we had beef. I said beef. Oh. Yeah, cabbage. Oh, we had crispy pork. Crispy pork. We had uh, egg um, dumplings. We had egg dumplings. And I think that's everything. It was very good. 
it was um, definitely an experience. I definitely recommend it. It's kind of like almost like Korean barbecue, but I don't know. I guess a Chinese spin on it. Um, it was great. Um, right now we are headed back to the hotel. I think um, a bar is doing free draft beers, uh, so we were thinking we might go hit that up. Um, so I'll take you along if that's where we're going. But I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. So we're on the way out again to the the blind pig to get some free uh, free craft beer. Um, they're doing a summer sizzler tonight, so they're doing like 30% off food and um, free beer, so we're all doing that. We squatted up. We got like 18 or 20 out of the 29 of us that are here, so I mean, I guess it took free beer to get us all together and do something together. Um, I will catch up with you guys when we get there. I'll let you know how it all is. So we just got off the subway. We are walking to the bar, I guess, um, right now. I don't think it's very far away. It's supposed to only be like one block, something like that. So we should be there very shortly. Um, hope no one minds. We came out here, which is pretty cool. Uh, they just look like stores, but um, they kind of got this whole uh, like ancient China temple theme going on. I kind of dig it. It's very, you know, very classic style. It's beautiful. A um, lot of detail, etc. Um, but yeah, we are on the way to the bar, I guess, right now. So we just left the blind pig. It was very good. I had a beer called the Sexy Summer Ale and a beer called the Call Me Pale Ale. Um, pale Ale was good. I think I thought it was better. Um, they also had the pig, the blind pig stout, and they had. The, the an IPA and they had a premium blonde ale. Um, I didn't try the others, uh, I just had the two. Uh, but it was good. Uh, I guess they're all locally brewed here in uh, China, um, which is really cool. So it was nice of them to do a free beer night and kind of uh, um, celebrate um, every, celebrate summer, I guess. Um, it was very good. I enjoyed it. I definitely recommend. Uh, so um, if you're in the area, I definitely recommend going. The food looked amazing. Um, it was a little on the pricey side, um, but it all it definitely like. I'm sure it would be worth it if I had it, um, but you know I'm just a little short on cash. I um, didn't bring enough with me, otherwise I would have probably gotten like a burger or something. But it, it looked delicious, so I mean um, I'm sure it would have been worth it. Uh, maybe I'll come back and 
try out uh, some of the food. I did have some of their, one of their fries um, from a friend and it was delicious. So um, judging from their fries, I would say it's a winner. So we are on the way back to the hotel now. Some people are going out to karaoke, but I think I'm gonna call it a night. Um, just get home, get in bed. Um, but I will catch up with you guys when I get back to the hotel. Hey guys, I'm back in the hotel. Um, tonight was good. I definitely enjoyed the Blind Pig. Uh, huge shout out to them for getting us free beers and discounted entrees and etc. It was amazing. Um, if you're in Shanghai and you need a place to eat or a place to get a beer or you're just a beer fanatic in general, I definitely recommend going and checking out their craft beers. They were very good and it's Especially for me, you know, it was good to have like an actual craft beer and not just a Chinese beer, which I think definitely have a different flavoring. Um, they're definitely different than American beers, so it was nice to have like a like craft beer that has like its own unique flavor. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys thought it was cool. Um, I know the cha channel's been kind of uh, quiet lately, but. Uh, I think, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I know that the channel's been kind of quiet lately, but uh, it's kind of hard with work, uh, as most of you, I'm sure most of you understand, but I am going to try to vlog as much as possible on the weekends and during the week if I end up doing anything at night. It's a little hard, because uh, like I said, I do get home kind of late. Other than that, Shanghai's been great so far. Cap is doing a great job. Uh, helping us to uh, get used to our internships and helping us in all the like visa functions and stuff like that. They've been great. So, um, so far it's been great. But I'm, gonna end the, but I'm gonna end the vlog here, guys. I hope you guys have a great night. I hope you had enjoyed coming with me. And you know, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Uh, join me on my adventures in Shanghai. I think we're gonna go to Beijing. We might go with, next weekend is the Dragon Boat Festival, so we have a long weekend off from work. So we might be uh, trying to go to uh, Beijing next weekend. So I'll keep you updated with uh, updates. I'll keep you guys in the loop, give you guys updates on see where that goes. But other than that, uh, I'm gonna sign off for now. Stay positive, be adventurous, peace. I'll keep you guys in the loop, give you guys updates on see where that goes. But other than that, uh, I'm gonna sign off for now. Stay positive, be adventurous, peace.